how's it going and welcome back to another video. Today is actually pretty special because I got my hands on a roll of the brand new, to 120 at least, Cinestill BWXX. I have been looking at a lot of sample images online with this film and I've also shot it in 35mm and I personally love the way it looks. The blacks are super, super dark and it just has, I know this is super cliche to say, but it has a very cinematic look. Cinestill. Cinematic. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> but I'm super excited to get into this video today. I'm going to be using my Fuji GW693. I am absolutely in love with this camera. It is by far my favorite medium format camera ever made, and I am completely obsessed with it. Now, I'm actually going to be waiting until nighttime to shoot this roll because no one on YouTube that I'm aware of has used this film at night yet, uh, at least in medium format. So I figured that would be a great chance for me to take this film out and completely experiment with it and just wing it and see what happens. There are no real reciprocity charts or anything online that I could find. So I'm basically just going to take an average of... Get out of the shot, Penny. Oh no. <laughs> I'm basically basing it off of other black and white films and how I know their reciprocity failure works. So I'm going to be multiplying the exposure by 1.5 in order to make up for reciprocity. I don't know exactly how this film is going to work with that, but I assume that's going to be in the ballpark of getting a proper exposure. So just for an example, if my meter reads that I need to expose uh, for 10 seconds, I will multiply 10 by 1.5, which of course will give me 15 seconds, and hopefully that'll make up for the reciprocity failure, but we'll have to see. So I'm super excited for it to be nighttime. I honestly can't wait for the day to be over so that I can get out there and shoot. But before we get started, I'm going to do that super irritating thing that YouTubers do and say that only 89% of you who are watching this video right now are subscribed. So at the end of the video, if you decide that you liked it and want to keep up with me, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. It really helps me out and I would really appreciate that. So let's go ahead and fast forward to nighttime and let's get into it. So I am taking pictures at night with a Cinestill film. You know what that means. I'm going to have to take a picture of a gas station at night. I'm a film bro. I can't claim to be a film bro. I can't claim to be a film photographer if I don't take a picture of a gas station at night. So first things first, as soon as it gets dark, I'm going straight to a gas station. Deal with it. Deal with it. I'm a meme. I'm a meme. And you can deal with it. <laughs> to like kind of get the Waffle House sign um, at least sort of exposed um, so I think instead of a second I'm gonna do I'm gonna do four seconds so the thing about this camera that's kind of weird is anytime you're going over um, a one second exposure uh, there's no bulb mode there's actually a T mode in this which I believe stands for time mode and <laughs> you actually can't get out of it until you wind so like, if I hold this down, even if I let it go, it's still gonna leave the shutter open. So I have to like cover it with my hand and wind it. So I don't know why they designed it like that, but it is a thing that they did. 
f5.6, four seconds, gonna cover it with my hand and wind. <laughs> so, okay. Three, two, one. I have literally lived in the South for 25 years and have never seen a single Waffle House close. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it is after 11 and me and my brother are both completely exhausted. So we decided to pack it up for the night and get some sleep and we're both gonna go out or maybe just me. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go out tomorrow and finish up the second roll of Sinistil BWXX. So, all right, I'm gonna get some sleep and I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay, so it's the following day now and I am impatiently waiting for it to get dark so that I can get out and take some more pictures. Super excited to do it, have literally no plans at all whatsoever for today. I actually kind of had an idea of what I wanted yesterday, but it is, we're gonna, we're gonna wing it today. Okay, so change of plans. It's not quite dark yet, but we've got about 45 minutes to go. And I plan on driving to the downtown area here where my parents live, um, so, that takes about 15, 20 minutes to get to, and I kind of want to scout the area out. So I'm actually going to leave a little earlier, also just so I can film some stuff on the way. So, uh, all right, let's go ahead and let's get going. Let's do it. Okay, so my meter is saying f5.6 at one second, so shouldn't have to deal with any um, reciprocity issues there, so I'm gonna go ahead and send it. Alrighty, hopefully, hopefully that's it. We will see.
Okay, so as if I didn't already learn my lesson, um, I pulled up to an ATM earlier to take a picture of it and two cars approached me really slowly and I was the only one anywhere around. So I jumped in my car real quick, uh, protected my cameras before myself, bug flying in my face, and uh, I got out of there and I came to a different one. No one said I was smart, but let's go ahead and get this and get the hell out of here. <laughs> So my meter is reading at 5.6 at one second, so we're gonna knock that out real quick and then get the hell out of here. Thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. I had an absolute blast filming it and I'm pretty happy with a lot of the images and how they came out. If you did enjoy this, if you could leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, it's completely free and would mean the absolute world to me and would really help me out. You can also feel free to follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty regularly and it's a pretty good way to keep up with me. And you can also follow me on Twitter. I've actually started using it more frequently for film photography and stuff. so. You can definitely feel free to follow me on there if you'd like. I'm having a blast talking to everybody in the community, and I'd love to talk to you as well. You can also feel free to comment on this video about anything that you would like to. I respond to every single comment, no matter what it is. I just love communicating with everybody, and, and it really just means a whole lot to me when people leave comments. I also just want to say thank you so much for 200 subs. I'm actually really surprised that I hit it as quickly as I did. My goal was literally to hit 100, and I doubled that pretty quickly. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to show a couple of my 35mm images from Cinestill BWXX to end out this video, and I really hope you enjoy them, and thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.